Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel and today I'm coming at you with another video about what I hate about each of my handbags and today I'm doing a Chanel edition so let's get into it. So the first bag I'm going to start off with is my beautiful Chanel patent tote. So this is a really vintage bag with the big CC's and the really yellow gold hardware. Now what do I hate about this bag? So when I'm wearing it, the strap loves to just slip off like that. That's super annoying. If any of you hate that, click the like button down below. Now if you'd like to see my review video on this bag or any of the bags I'm about to show today, just look up above when I get to that section of the video. So if that bothers you too, let me know in the comments down below guys. So the next bag I'm going to show you is my small single flap Chanel bag. This is with the 24 karat gold hardware and it's so beautiful. Now let me show you what I hate about this bag. And it's the strap length guys. Now if you'd like to see a review video on this bag, just click up above. Now check out that strap length. It looks okay as a shoulder bag, but it's super short for a crossbody. And if you guys are viewers of my channel, you would know that I'm a crossbody kind of girl. So this is too short to be a crossbody for me. I like my crossbody bags to be a bit lower. So the way I kind of get around this when I wear it, want to wear it as a crossbody bag is that I have looped some black ribbon. It's like a black necktie through the grommets there. So what I do is I pull the original strap in from the inside. Then I tuck it into the zippered pocket. I close the zipper pocket to keep the strap tucked in and now I just add my own crossbody strap. To dress it down I just use this faux leather strap. If you wanted to keep it dressy you can buy interwoven link strap and now I'm going to use these ribbons as loops to attach my straps with the lobster claws. And now I have a dressed down crossbody bag. This is really nice and easy to wear with any casual outfit. So my final Chanel bag is this small zippered tote bag and it has the double chain strap. Now what do I hate about this handbag? I hate that I bought it in such bad condition. So I got this from eBay from another Australian private seller. Now what that seller did not disclose was that there was a tear in the corner. I asked for additional pictures and it was always hidden in the pictures that there was a tear in the corner. Like sometimes it would just be like kind of chopped off from different angles. It would be like that angle. But this corner was never exposed in the additional pictures I asked for. So when I received the bag, I was livid, as you can imagine. So I had two choices. I got some quotes for a bag spa or I could just send it back as not as described. I decided to go the bag spa route anyway. And what I realized now after owning this bag for a few years is that when you have leather that's in not good condition, even after a bag spa, after a few years, that wear and tear is still going to come through again because that leather wasn't able to fully accept the dye as well as good condition leather may have been able to accept it. So it's still looking a little bit worn out even after a bag spa. So maybe what I should have done is just have sent it back and saved up a bit more for a better condition bag. But I now own it. It's neither here nor there. And also it's a really rare design so I probably may not have ever found this design ever again. So that's not really the bag's fault, that's my fault. So this is what it looks like. If you want to see my review video on this bag, just click up above. That's what it looks like crossbody. Now what I do love about this bag is that it has really good chain length. And because these are a T-bar, I can actually loop these straps into the grommets of this Chanel bag. And now I have an authentic interwoven chain length with the right strap length that I like to use with this one too. So there were hidden benefits in me owning this poor condition bag. So that's one thing I hate about each of my Chanel handbags. Thanks for listening everyone. Have a nice day. Bye.